The need for anti-ballistic security and protection is clearly evident with the increasing availability of high-powered weapons. Current methods of constructive protection against high-level threats have been proven to be heavy and extremely expensive. To meet this challenge, Anti-Ballistic Security and Protection Incorporated has developed a lightweight, highly protective ballistic armor matrix to meet a highest rating UL threat level 8. This matrix is a wall assembly that can be used in new construction or in retrofitting existing structures. Working in collaboration with engineers at DuPont's Advanced Fiber Systems, an important test illustrates how the wall repeatedly performs. The test shown here was conducted on this representative sample of the ballistic armor matrix, which is 18 inches by 18 inches square and approximately 10 inches thick. The assembly, which simulates a retrofit construction with drywall on both sides, weighs less than 20 pounds per square foot. Five high-powered projectiles were fired within the four and a half inches square test pattern, which is required to obtain the highest UL level 8 rating, the equivalent of protection from military field rifle fire. The projectiles were M80 ball round, or the equivalent of 30-06 full metal jacket, with a strike velocity of just under 3,000 feet per second. Shown here is the test pattern in the standard configuration, four shots surrounding the center of the panel and one shot to the center of the panel. A view of the back of the panel reveals that the results were as anticipated. No penetration of the back of the drywall. As you can see, the Kevlar also performed as anticipated. The conclusion was that the ASAP panel will perform as expected under multiple hits. The Department of Defense invited ASAP to test sections of our panel at the artillery range, U.S. Marine Base, Quantico, Virginia. Separate pieces of panel were tested with field rifle, shotgun, and 9mm handgun. All demos were a success, with no bullets penetrating the back of the panel by any weapon. What does this mean for you? These casings, lined up like soldier, are a visible symbol of the threat that this lightweight but tough wall may have to contain. Tests and threat remnants are proof of its ability to shield and protect lives and equipment sheltered behind it. ASAP has created a family of walls, all anti-ballistic, but capable of other protection as required. Significant is that ASAP has recently developed a Department of State certified anti-ballistic plus anti-forced entry wall. In this series of supervised tests, first three distinct full metal jacket bullets were fired into the wall with none exiting. Then this same wall was attacked with a wide variety of manual tools, first in the middle of the panel and then on the middle seam. The independent testing team were amazed when the supposedly weaker seam proved even tougher than the mid-panel section. The ASAP anti-ballistic anti-force entry wall gained the coveted Department of State one-hour certification rating against forced entry. ASAP Walls is now also Department of State certified for the triple crown of protective walls, adding anti-blast protection. Here the ASAP wall panel with a blast-proof window inserted passes the Department of State test on the first attempt. Let's see that blast test in slow motion. Here is a view of the other side of the wall post test, completely intact. Test 2 in this series is even more amazing. ASAP volunteers for greater punishment to the existing same wall that was shot at and blasted in test one, but this time at significantly higher level, greatly exceeding the Department of State mandate. Remember, you're seeing the same wall as test one, but with the sheetrock removed. Let's also watch this test two in slow motion. Here is the opposite side of the twice blasted wall, still intact. 
In the final test, test 3, a new ASAP windowless wall panel passes the Department of State test also on the first attempt. Here is the same test in slow motion. Here, already lifted out of the test frame, is the other side of this panel, also still intact. The Department of Defense invited ASAP to test a panel at the U.S. Marine Base, Quantico, Virginia. Three consecutive demos were performed on the same panel, all with 50 pounds of TNT placed just 20 feet away. Blast 1, wall still perfectly intact. Blast 2, the same. Blast 3, still intact, with just hairline cracks in exterior stucco. This crater just 20 feet away from the wall re-emphasizes the power of these demos, and yet the ASAP wall took three blasts with no structural and little cosmetic damage. ASAP walls, exceeding Department of State and other formal standards, now offers the only lightweight triple protection modular wall system. For more information, please go to our website, asapwalls.com.